Hello, I'm Mugiwara Cosplay, and in this video I will show you step by step on how to create a 3D model of a fursuit head base and print it. To begin, we'll start by using Coden, a VR software for 3D modeling. First, we'll create a basic shape that resembles the head of our character. This will serve as our foundation. It's not required to use Coden. You can use Blender instead. I just prefer to model the basic shape in VR because it feels like working with clay. By the way small disclaimer, since recording this video, I switched from Coden to ShapeLab. The tools still work the same way but ShapeLab is better optimized, so less lag and better performance. But enjoy this small time lapse on the basic modeling. Once we're satisfied with the basic shape, we'll export the model as an FBX file. This will allow us to import it into Blender for further refinement and preparation for 3D printing. In Blender, we have more control over the details of our fursuit head base. We can add or refine facial features, and carve out spaces for the eyes and ventilation. And to do that, we will make SVG files of the shapes that need to be carved away. I used Inkscape to draw those shapes. And then converted them into mesh. Now adjust the size, thickness and rotation until it matches the part that we want to carve away. Make sure the mesh is selected. Now hold Ctrl down and click the base too. Now press Ctrl plus Alt plus B, and click Difference. That will cut away the mesh that the shape covered on the base. Now to make the model hollow, go to Edit Mode. Select the faces that is going to be removed. Tap Delete and click Faces. A bit more about making holes. Remember to make a copy of the shape that is going to be mirrored to the other side of the face, like nostrils and eyes. Almost there, I also changed the size a bit. Now we only need to make the shell a bit thicker or else the printed base will be too fragile. Go to Modifiers and select Solidify.
This modifier adds thickness to the surfaces of the model. At this stage you can still add ventilation holes if you prefer that. That will also save filament and reduce weight. Now that we've finished the modeling process, it's time to prepare our model for 3D printing. We'll ensure that it's correctly oriented, properly scaled, and add supports where necessary. I use Ultimac Arcura for slicing. With our model prepared, we're ready to print it. I use the Creality County Route 10 Max 3D printer. This printer offers a large print volume, making it ideal for fursuit head bases. And the same process goes for the eye bases. I have a separate video about how to model those, and painting the mesh. And then just press them in and glue with hot glue. And just like that, our 3D printed fursuit head base is ready. Next is to add padding and fabric, but that's a topic for another video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to experiment and be creative. And if you want to stay updated with the latest fursuit making tips and tricks, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.